here's some computer components that I'm very thankful to Max Arcade for sending to me. We're going to install them into this old computer tower here. We're going to completely retrofit it with these uh, good modern components here. We've got RAM and a sound card. And down under here is the new motherboard. There's the uh, processor chip. And we've also got the power supply here, the hard drive, and the uh, cooling unit for the CPU. So again, I'd really like to thank Max Arcade for all this. And I'm sure it's going to turn out to really have great performance. Now what's in here is just kind of a, maybe a late 90s era uh, set of components. So we'll just put those aside. I think I can, then it all worked. It all did work when I was using it, but just didn't have all that much RAM. But I'll put it aside and I may retrofit it back into another case sometime. So the first thing I'll do is just take the top or just take the lid off of here, see what we got in there. This is my first time for really putting this all together from scratch, but I think I can uh, make it happen. Here's the interior view of all the components in here. So I'll just start rigging down everything. We'll leave the DVD reader here, and we've got a new 250 gigabyte hard drive we'll install in the hard drive bay. Now the new Western Digital Caviar has been installed into the hard drive uh, mounting bracket, and it looks like it's a 250 gigabyte model. Quite an improvement over what was in there before. So now I'm going to mount the bracket back in its place up here. Now the new motherboard is in the computer case. We've got the Western Digital Caviar mounted in there as well. Next thing I think I'll do is put in the sticks of RAM and we'll put the uh, heat sink on the Opteron chip. One thing I noticed here was that down here at the bottom there wasn't no standoffs to raise up the level of the case up to the mounting holes. So I guess I'll just leave those leave those out for now. I got mounting bolts on all the places where there were standoffs available to hook up to. One thing I figured out is that this mounting plate I do believe needs to go on uh, from the back. I went ahead and tightened down the screws on the motherboard and then got the uh, little cover plate and found it wouldn't really stay on. So I just had to take the screws out of the motherboard. And I'll go ahead and remount it then. Got the RAM sticks in, got the uh, sound blaster card in. So I'm going to retighten the screws now on the motherboard. I now think I've got some success in getting it working. I was having a little bit of trouble earlier and it would not stay running. I uh, made sure to put some heat sink grease uh, as, as uh, Max Arcade Art advised me to. I got the heat sink grease and uh, put some under the heat sink and on top of the CPU chip for good heat transfer. But even the first time I did that, it still wouldn't stay running. The problem was that it would come on and then shut down after about 20 seconds or so. I plugged the fan into this connector here, which is next to the thing marked uh, overheat. And that caused it to stay running. Now I've got the thermal grease on there for effective heat transfer between the Opteron chip and the heat sink. And the fan is running and Slackware Linux is ready to be installed. I initially uh, disconnected the motherboard from the chassis and put it on this bubble wrap just to make sure I didn't have any kind of shorts under there that was causing the power supply to shut down. But now I think I can confidently go ahead remount the motherboard and uh, complete the setup procedure here. Can't wait to see how fast this runs with this processor and a gig of RAM and Slackware. So I'm going to do this and then just uh, see how the results are. It should be really good. Now I've got everything assembled into the chassis and I've got the Slackware Linux boot screen. So I'm going to try booting it up. I had to splice into the floppy connector to get this auxiliary fan wired up, but it's running good, and the CPU fan's running good, too. Ambient temperature in here is probably about 85 degrees. Not re there is air conditioning in this building, but 
in this room it's not the greatest. So you might even get some additional fans on it just to make sure it really stays cool.